$3,153 is the amount of money using a credit card can actually make you every single year rather than using cash like Dave Ramsey actually recommends. Now, if you want to find out exactly how you can earn $3,153 by simply using your credit card for your everyday expenses and not going into debt, then I recommend you stick around to the end of the video. Because by the end of this video, guys, I'm actually going to break down three reasons why credit cards are better than cash. And I'm also going to answer some of Dave Ramsey's concerns to why cash is so much better, why credit cards are evil, why people that use credit cards are stupid. I'm going to answer all these questions in this video. Now, guys, if you don't know me, my name is Tony Bryson. I'm an accountant. I've been practicing personal finance for the past four years. And I like Dave Ramsey. I like to think that credit cards are good and that they don't turn people stupid. And I do post videos every single day. So make sure you subscribe. And when you do subscribe, hit that notification bell, because whenever I post a video on making money, earning money, credit cards, or whatever it is that they didn't teach you in school because they didn't think it was important, you get notified and you're the first to actually see the video before everybody else does. And let me know in the comments down below if you have a credit card or if you don't have a credit card. So comment yes for I do have a credit card, comment no for I don't have a credit card. I'm very interested to actually find out how many people that are subscribed to my channel actually have credit cards and what percentage of them don't have any credit cards. Now guys, let's get right into the video. Now the first thing we're actually going to do is talk about Dave Ramsey's concerns and actually hear him out because he has a lot of facts and evidence that I actually want to talk about and respond to on this channel. And then after that, I'll give you the three reasons why cash is actually better. And then as a bonus, I'm actually going to tell you how you can actually earn $3,153 by just using your credit card on your everyday purchases without actually going into debt. Well, that's a lot to say, but I said it. Let's get right into the video right now. Now, all the questions and all the concerns I'm about to answer in this video, guys, I'm not making them up. These are real concerns by Dave Ramsey, and I'm actually gonna play a video and have him say it himself, and then after that, I'm actually gonna answer it so then you guys can actually hear my side of the story, and you can comment as we go if you agree or if you don't agree. So let's get right into the first one. The first one is this. Dave Ramsey says, Everyone spends some more when using plastic than they do cash. Now, the first thing Dave Ramsey says is that you can't control yourself, so don't even bother using credit cards. And here's my argument to that, okay? When I was a kid, I couldn't control myself. I used to pee all over the place, but now I can kind of pee a little bit better and I can actually aim for the toilet. So the reason I'm actually saying this, guys, is because, and that's a joke, by the way, right? I can, I can, I can, I can pee, all right? I'm an adult and I can do that. But the reason I'm saying that is because Dave Ramsey kind of says, okay, you know, Credit cards are bad, people use them, and whenever they use them, they overuse it and they overspend. And I get that argument, but in reality, it's something that you teach yourself to do. It's called mastering something rather than just avoiding it. So when I first started using credit card, guys, and I literally spent a ton, ton of money, and when that minimum payment came through that month, I said, you know what? I can cover this minimum payment for the next five years. I'm fine with this, you know? And that was a terrible answer. And that's not what I did, by the way. You know, I, I learned my lesson and then that never happened to me again. And it only took me around three, six months to actually get rid of all that credit card debt. And ever since then, I've never gotten into credit card debt on voluntarily because whenever I get into credit card debt now, I pay no interest and it's only for the points and I always pay it off on time. Now, the second argument Dave Ramsey actually makes is that pretty simple because you were $50,000 in debt and a lot of people get there and you can't get there with a debit card. Debit card will do everything your credit card will do. Credit card is the gateway to debt. Now, I know personally, guys, a lot of people out there that either if they have a credit card or if they don't, they still have really bad financial abilities and they're still going paycheck to paycheck. So the credit card isn't the problem. In reality, it's the person itself. Now, here's the thing. It is technically true. Whenever you use a credit card, you are in debt, but it doesn't really matter because as long as you pay off the balance every single month, you're good to go. You're not really in debt. You're only losing when you're paying interest. And that's where the problem actually starts to happen. So as long as you're not paying interest and you're paying that credit card off every single month, you're good to go. You have nothing to actually worry about. I'm 26 and I've got this figured out. I'm 26 years old. I make $42,000 a year, but I've, I'm going to beat up on old Discover card. They're, they don't know anything. I've got them beat. I'm getting those Discover points. not costing me a thing. You know how stupid that makes you sound when you say stuff like that? You know, I've met with thousands of millionaires. I've never met a millionaire who said, Dave, you know, I made all my money on my airline miles. Dave Ramsey is right. You're wrong. B 
beep, 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 right? And here's the thing. He said this. He said, you know, no one rich actually gets rich by using credit cards and getting points. And I get that statement 100%, but it's not fully true. And here's why. Kind of like comparing apples and oranges. Making the statement that by using a credit card, you're not going to get rich by using the points. Yes, that's obvious. That is true. But neither are you going to get rich by not using a credit card. You know how many people there are in the world that can't even qualify for a credit card because they have a terrible credit score? And because of that, they're still not rich, right? So the credit card isn't really the contingency that's keeping you from being rich or being poor. If something can actually benefit you by giving you cash back or rewards, it benefits you. It doesn't keep you poor. It doesn't make you rich, but it benefits you if you know what you're doing. So that statement of, oh my gosh, nobody gets rich by using points. That's a terrible statement. It doesn't make any sense. And it's like comparing apples and oranges. The problem is, is that people accidentally end up in debt. They don't watch what they're doing. Now, one of the funniest things that I've heard Dave Ramsey said in this video was, People accidentally get into debt. Now, I know he was probably saying this to kind of like be nice and not really like, you know, like over say it, but I'm going to say it right here in this video. And it's this, right? People don't accidentally get into debt at all. People get into debt because they want to. And here's what happens. This happens whenever someone wants to have something or get something that they can't afford and they justify it by using the credit card and saying like, well, if I buy this $10,000 watch, it doesn't really matter because all I'm going to be paying is, you know, for the next five years is a hundred dollars a month. And guess what? I'm paying $30 every single month, but it doesn't matter because I can afford it because I can afford that minimum payment. And here's my strategy to this. If I can't buy something twice, that or maybe even three times or four times that that means that I can't afford it. What this means is this, if I can't go to the Tesla store, I think they have a store now, right? And I can't buy this Tesla car for $137,000 twice. I'm not going to use a credit card to buy it. I'm not going to get a loan to buy it because that obviously means that I can't afford it. And there's tons of studies that show that you're going to spend anywhere from 12 to as much as 60 or 70% more when using a credit card, depending on the type of purchase. Now, here's my favorite argument by Dave Ramsey. And every single person always uses this reference as research, as backup for every statement that they actually make. And it's that whenever you use plastic, so for example, if I use, where's my, I don't have any plastic in my house. You know, I'm a very bio-friendly person, so I don't have any plastic, but for example, Whenever you use plastic, you spend more money than if you just had cash in your hand. And here's my response to that, Dave Ramsey. That's true. The research is true and it's been proven true also. But there's also research on people that go inside of a supermarket without a list. And because they don't have a list, they spend more money. Same thing goes for if you have a credit card and you go inside of whatever store you're going into or you go throughout your day and you say, that, well, I have a $100 budget and that's all I'm going to spend. Here's my list of things I'm actually going to spend that money on. You have a list, you have a plan, so you're not going to overspend at all. I think the main issue isn't the plastic, but it's just not having a plan. For example, if I walk inside of a supermarket and I don't have like a list saying like, hey, I'm going to buy some onions, some pickles. I don't know. Like this is a terrible list, but I would never buy these things. But if I was going to buy those things and I have them on the list, I walk in the supermarket, I go get those things, I pay for them and I'm out. But if I don't have a list and I say like, well, you know, I want to get some onions. Then I see some ice cream. I'm like, oh yeah, I want some ice cream too. And then I see some cereal. I'm like, oh, I want some cereal also and then i spend that money with the credit card but it's not the credit card's problem it's you you're the problem because you don't have a list to actually help yourself and by the way guys i remember every single week right i used to go on a date with my girlfriend and whenever we would go on dates i would never really plan them and then i started planning them i said okay so we're gonna go to the movies and that's gonna cost 40 bucks we're gonna get some burgers after that's gonna cost another 40 bucks and then we're gonna take the transportation that's gonna be like another like 10 20 bucks if we take an uber and then that's it that's all we're spending the money on and that's what we would spend the money on the credit card wouldn't really improve that or disapprove that like i would just spend the money on whatever i said i was gonna spend the money on but before that he is right. I would walk around and I would just buy whatever I want to buy and just be like, okay, wow, I have a balance now. That's crazy. But it's not the credit card. It's just me not having a plan for that day. When you start paying cash, when you lay $100 bills and Uncle Ben Franklin is looking you in the eye as you're, paying, as you're buying something, your, your spending patterns change because you feel the purchase. Now, the last argument that it actually makes in this entire video is that your spending patterns change whenever you use cash. And I must say, I do agree with this one, but not fully. And here's why. Whenever you go on social media now, you see a whole bunch of people, quote unquote, flexing, you know, flexing their money, like showing off that they have a lot of cash and spending that cash. And it's just like more show offy than just spending it like with a debit card. So here's my argument. 
Yes, if you have cash, you're going to see the transaction take place and you're going to be like, okay, maybe I shouldn't spend that much money. But that's not really a reaction of the debit card or the credit card because like I said before, it's all about planning and having a plan and having a budget. So whenever you go inside of a store or you want to buy whatever you want to buy, you know what you're going to get, you know what your budget is, and you know how much you're going to spend. It's not the credit card's fault, it's your fault. So before I actually give you guys the three reasons why credit cards are better than cash, comment down below if you agree with Dave Ramsey or you agree with me. So comment Dave Ramsey if you agree with him, or Tommy if you agree with me, or comment both if you think it should be a healthy balance when it comes to using credit cards and using cash. If you don't think it's just black and white, or if you don't think that it just makes you stupid by using them. But before I actually tell you guys exactly why credit cards are better than cash, I actually want to give you guys some facts and research. If you go to my description down below, I have all these links down below. And here's the one research that you have to tell you. The average American household spends around $70,000 every single year. And don't worry, this is going to be relevant later on in the video. And on top of that, there's some more research out there. If you click the description down below, that says that the average American by themselves spends around $160 every single day. That includes rent, dining, entertainment, cable, and all that stuff that every single person out there spends money on on a daily basis including food by the way and here's why that one fact is actually relevant like I said before guys there's three reasons why credit cards are superior to cash and here's the first one it's points Dave Ramsey says points don't matter but they actually do matter and here's why if an average American household is spending around $70,000 every single year and that adds up to around 210,000 points and whenever you redeem those points that $70,000 you spent either way whenever you redeem those points you actually get 50% more, so you actually get 315,000 points. If you're wondering how much it actually adds up to, well, it actually adds up to around $3,153 towards travel, wherever you wanna go, and to me, that sounds like a very good vacation. Now, if you told me, Tommy, well, I don't wanna travel. I don't wanna do that. I just want my cash back. Well, you can get your cash back, and if you get like 1.5% cash back from Chase, or if you get 5% from Discovery by timing everything correctly, Here's how much money you would actually make. If you use Discovery's 5% and you timed it correctly, you would make around $3,500 just in cash back. I'm talking about cash, real cash, okay? And if you use Chase Unlimited card that gives you 1.5%, and by the way, guys, right now they're giving you 3% for the first year, you would actually get back $1,050. If you just use cash for those like $70,000 in expenses, you would have gotten back zero. No cash back, no points towards travel, none of it. And that's why points are so important. You might tell me, Tommy, you know, you're never gonna get rich by doing this. Yeah, I'm not gonna get rich, but I can travel for free. I can go on vacation, I can do whatever I want. And these are all just perks, okay? And I'm not going into debt because every single month I'm paying it off, so it doesn't matter. And for everyone that's probably wondering, what about that $500 fee that you have to pay for that Chase Sapphire card? Well, it doesn't really matter because if you're getting back $3,153 minus the $500, you are still getting back over $2,000 that you probably wouldn't gotten back. Well, not probably, you would have never gotten back if you had just used cash. Now, the second reason is this credit building possibilities. And I like using credit cards because it actually builds up my credit report and it shows lenders that, hey, he actually pays his bills on time, he's always good, and he has no problems whatsoever, and his credit utilization is actually very good. And I like using credit cards because it gives you rapport with banks and companies and whenever they're gonna give you a loan for a house or whatever you need, like a car, you always get that, you always get the loan and you always get the best rate if you have a good credit score. And the best way to actually do it is by building your credit score using credit cards. And it's actually very easy. You get a credit card, you pay it off every single month, you build your history like that, and then boom, you have good credit, you have good options, and everything goes on perfectly. But if you use cash, okay, I use cash, I paid this off, I paid that, I paid that. Well, no one really knows that I did that. But if I use a credit card, there's a record of everything that I actually do. And then companies actually take a look at that and say, well, you know, he covers all his bills. He's responsible, and that's something that has a lot of value to it that cash can't really give you. Now, the last reason is actually this, inflation. Now, this is kind of like a little reach, and here's why, because you know inflation is around 2%. So every single year, your money loses around 2% of the purchase value that it would have like last year or this current year. So what this means is that if you keep using your dollar or you keep saving your money, you're losing 2% every single year. How you can actually fight this is by getting a savings account, but also if you use a credit card for your expenses, you're actually gonna get back some money on that. So in a way, you're kind of fighting inflation that way. If you're getting between two to 5% return every single time you spend a dollar, that's not that bad, that's actually very good. Imagine this, imagine spending $70,000 and getting back $3,000 every single year. That sounds like a pretty good deal to me. So so here's what I really think. I don't think credit cards are the problem. I think people are the problem. If you don't have a budget, a list, and you don't know what you want to buy, you are going to spend more money. And here's the thing, guys. I don't disagree with Dave Ramsey. I think that if you want to give up and you actually just don't want to deal with it at all, then, you know, 
follow Dave Ramsey. Don't use credit cards at all. Just use your debit card. Get that 1% cash back with one of those like discover like debit cards or whatever. But if you want to like learn how to exactly how to use credit cards, learn how to use them. Build a habit around it and then execute and then exploit it, okay? Because every single time you spend money and you're getting cash back, that's one extra dollar in your pocket. And they might say, like, you're not going to turn rich with it, but you will go on free vacations every single year. On top of that, guys, listen to this, right? I know if every single person out there did this, the credit cards were, like, shut down. They wouldn't work anymore. They would go bankrupt. Honestly, that's never really going to happen because, you know... People out there just don't even want to learn how to manage your money, but some people do. And you might be a part of that percentage because you're here watching a video on finance when you could be watching cat videos. So you're already ahead of the curve. And if you're here, you should learn how to use credit cards. You should learn how to budget. You should learn how to make a list. So whenever you spend, you're always spending exactly what you had planned and you're getting back cash back and you're the one winning and not the bank. So before I go, guys, let me know in the comments down below if you have credit card debt and what's your goal? By what time do you want to get rid of all your credit card debt? What are going to be your payments? Like just set a goal down in the comments down below so everyone can see it and then you have accountability. Because by people looking at your goal and you're actually declaring it, you can actually be more likely to actually complete it. So for example, if I had a credit card debt and I owe like a thousand bucks, I would say like, well, I owe a thousand dollars in credit card debt. My plan is to actually get rid of it because that's bad credit card debt. And then after that, I plan on using credit cards every single month, but I will be paying off the balance and I will only buy things that I can either buy three times or that I have the money in my pocket to actually pay for and that won't really cost me any problems. And as always, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, go ahead and like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video and actually let me know in the comments down below why you disliked it because when you dislike a video and you comment also, it lets me know, hey, I can improve here. I can do this better. And same thing if you like it. If you like it, let me know what you like so I can do more of that. And make sure you subscribe because I post videos every single day. So when you subscribe, hit that notification bell because when I upload a video on everything that they didn't teach you in school because it wasn't that important, you can actually be the first to actually see the video before anyone else. And if you have any questions, guys, and you actually want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, just DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson, and then we can talk through there. And whatever ideas you need or whatever ideas you have for me, just let me know in the comments down below because I'm always running out of ideas because I upload every single day, and now I have like two ideas left, and I have a whole year left. So let me know in the comments down below whatever ideas you have. Don't worry. I will take a look at them, and I will look at them seriously, and I will respond to all the comments. I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Thanks for watching, and... Peace. You've got to start at the bottom if you ever gonna reach the top. You've gotta watch all the seeds you sow.